Hi guys, Richie Bop here, long time no see. I uh, haven't had much time to do this, so we're back. Broken Sword. Um, Broken Sword 5, episode 1. Completely forgotten where I'm up to, so I'm just going to try and get in this door again and see what Nico prompts me to do. I think I need to climb up this drain pipe as far as I remember, but there's the seagull on top, and I think that might be an issue. I pounded that door until my hand hurt. We were going to have to find another way to attract Hobbs' attention. Did we not beep the horn? I know we've done something with the cow, we've rewired it. The horn wasn't working. Oh, okay, it wasn't. Okay, so we need to go back into here. So, um, we'll fix this up. Engine block. It was the van's engine. Yeah, and we've done this, haven't we? Oh, oh, crud. It was the van's engine. Didn't we just, where we, haven't I just put those in? A loose wire hung from the horn. If I had some spare cable, I could connect it to the other horn. Sick. <laughs> I think I've just undone that. Richie Bob, the worst game player that wouldn't on the work. planet. Come on. I connected the wires from the cab to the horn. Yeah. Back. A bundle of short, severed wires was connected to the battery. None of the wires were connected to anything. Do I need more wire? It was the van's engine. I think I was under the impression that I had done this now. So when I go back to the car horn, it should be done. <clears throat> but it's not. The horn wasn't working. I'm sick. The van's hood was already open. Yeah. How do I get this horn working? You guys have probably already finished this by now. A pile of paint, wire, and other junk. <laughs> wire. There was nothing else of interest in the junk. Oh, for goodness sake. Surely. I think we need more wire. The large dumpster was full of garbage. Uh-huh. Nika? Nika had suggested that we needed to attract Hobbs' attention somehow. Ugh, it has to be the bonnet. What else do I have? Hmm. Can we set fire to something? That seems a little bit like arson. Climbing drain pipes was something I preferred to avoid. Oh, goodness me. I really don't know how we're going to do this. I've done the wire. I mean, there's nothing else. Is there? There's nothing else with a cog. A bundle of wires came into the engine bay from the dashboard. Yeah. I mean, is it the wrong wire? Why do I have to... Seems a really... loose wire hung from the horn. From the horn. It was one of two horns in the van. One of two. It didn't seem to be connected to anything oh. else under the hood. Oh, two gosh. wires hung loose from it. So it must be the other one. This I one. used the wire to join the battery to the horn. Do we think that's it? What do you think? It was the van battery. It's the horn, and this one is... Maybe it's those two. I'm going to try these. Mm. 
I should try try those two and go back and try the horn again and if it's not that I'll try the other combination <clears throat> the horn wasn't worth oh it's so frustrating <laughs> right back into the van bonnet I hope we're right with this I say we because I completely blame you watching this right I connected the wires from the cab to the horn. So that should be both horns and they're just not connected in the middle. But it's not like doing the music thing. I got a bad feeling. The horn. Oh. What? Why? I can't see any more wire, and he said there's nothing else in the junk. A loose wire hung from the horn. I don't have any more wire. Unless... I can... It was the old piece of wire that I'd found in the junk pot. Maybe there's some way I can, like... I snipped the wire in half. Oh. Do you know what? I'm a friggin' genius. I connected the wires from the cab to the horn. I am an actual genius. Just that. That wire wasn't long enough to reach between the two horns. No, but this one is. My goodness. I can't believe I did that. I didn't even have to look it up. The wire was just long enough to connect the battery to the horn. I'm so impressed with myself when I go things like. Everything I was, just was about wired up. To the horn had power. Look it up. Woohoo! Genius. <laughs> right, you ready? <coughs> I figured that should get Hobbs' attention. Hell yeah, it should. Bicycle. All right, hold your blooming horses. What are you up to with my van? Hello there. Uh, we fixed your horn. So I hear. Now, what are you doing in my yard? Just stuff. Um. Mr. Hobbs, do you mind if we ask you a few questions? Yes. Yes, you will answer a few questions? Yes, I do mind. Clear? Not really. Good. Now get lost. Oh, no. Come back. Well, that could have gone better. He's not exactly the friendliest of characters. He fixed his van. Uh, dream pipe? I know there's something to do with that drain pipe because the seagull flew off when he opened the door. Climbing drain pipes was something I preferred to avoid. Perhaps. Oh, I can't get the seagull. Perhaps Nico. Nico? <laughs> Any ideas? So, Hobbs doesn't want to see us. It's like Detroit around here, and it's going to be dark soon. Shall we head back? No! We need to convince Hobbs to let us in. Right, well. Should we try knocking, or do you have to beat the horn every time? I pounded that door until my hand... The horn. We were going to have to find another way to attract Hobbs' attention. What? Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, I, oh, that was just linked to the door. Oh, goodness me. Thought it was not going to let me use this horn that I spent 15 minutes trying to fix up. I decided to give it another blast. Yeah, go for it, Josh. We'll be a bit more... Um... For crying out loud, will you leave my van alone? Sorry, uh, just need a quick word, Mr. Hobbs. It was a misunderstanding. We just want to restore your house or a van or something. Hello there. We'd like to discuss some restoration work with you. Then make an appointment. I'm busy. This Hobbs guy doesn't exactly like visitors. There must be some angle we can use to talk our way inside. I have to beep him again. I feel so sorry for the guy. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't. I decided to give it another blast. He's gonna hate me. Seagull, I think we need to do something. You two again? What is it this time? 
Sorry to bother you again, Mr. Hobbs, but... What? This is crazy. We need to get in there and take a look around. We need a good cover story. Gem pipe. Maybe we need to... I think we need to get in... Up here. I know he doesn't like it. And we need to get that seagull off. And the only way it seems to come off is when... Climbing drain pipes was something I preferred to avoid. I know, but... I really don't know how else you're going to do this. Oh goodness, started running really slow. Come on. So, one of the reasons I haven't been able to play so much is because this is actually on my boyfriend's computer. Because mine just won't run games anymore, so I'm going to hopefully be upgrading my computer soon. Even though this one's like really lagging on this, why is it doing that? It's very sudden. I'm not sure why. Come on, Nika. But this is um, an Alienware X51 with an upgraded graphics card, and mine's really old HP TouchSmart 600 PC, so. Mine really needs upgrading, and hopefully when that's happened, that'd be good. Why? Why have you walked over there? Why is it running so slow? Come on! Suddenly, very laggy. Right, so just restart the record. Hopefully, it's gonna take us back up. I'm clicking on the door, but. Nothing's happening. Okay, just had to click off that pit to, for some reason. I know there's someone home. Um, can I get that seagull because it keeps bringing down the drop down. What else can I do? Pretty sure I need to set fire to something. I only had a few matches. Using one now probably wasn't a good idea. Yeah, you're right. I knew that deep down. Maybe we can break in. That wasn't worth trying. Crowbar. Can we use the chin for something? Mm -hmm. Really? stuck. Hmm. I wouldn't have been able to break the chain or the padlock. I'm going to talk to Nico again, see if Nico? she's got any ideas. Nico, whenever you move, everything goes wrong. For some reason I lose, I lose frame rate when... We really need to talk to this Hobbs guy. Yeah. We do. Oh, it's lagging so much, I'm going to have to leave it there, guys. Sorry. Well, let's keep trying with this. Sorry, I have to keep breaking off. For some reason, the frame rate's going. So we definitely need to get in here. But I have no idea how. Right. Okay. Hmm. Really, really stuck. Don't know what to do. Really, really stuck. There was definitely someone home. Don't know if I can maybe ask him about something. Just keep calling him out and asking him, but I really don't know what's going to get him to come out. Might have to look this one up. Hmm. Broken sword five. Oops. So I'm gonna try the horn again. Sorry if it's been a bit skippy. I'm working on the frame. I decided to give it another blast. I've just restarted. Oh, traps. And looked it up real quick. And I think 
definitely what now? To do with that seagull going away. And I need to climb the drain pipe. Uh, and the frame rate's dropped again. Uh, so sorry about all this glitchiness. I, I think I've fixed it now. I think Steam was just doing some updates without asking me. Right. Really unsure what to do at this point anyway. Which means this video is probably totally crud to watch. On this walkthrough that I've got up right now, it just says you need to go up. I decided to give it another blast. I need to go up here. What now? Sorry to bother you again. No, no. This is crazy. I know. We need. I know we do. Yeah. Come on. Get right up to the drain pipe. Can we at least acknowledge that there's Climbing a drain. No. On the balcony. There was definitely someone. Go to a different walk through here. Um. So I'm going to put Hobbs and Seagull in. I don't want that bit you learn, blah 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 blah. Okay, gameboomers.com. I think that's where I've been before to look at them. There's another drain pipe up there, but we can't look at that one. And we can't get up there any other way. Hmm. So, right, that's another bit. Search the office, we've done that. Coffee shop, beer of security, blah blah blah. On his apartment. Yeah, we've done that too. Done that, done that. Quite far. Quite far in. Um, I don't think we've done that. Let, oh, okay. Distract, uh, distract Hobbs by blowing the fuse. Check Hobbs. No, that's oh, that's ahead of what we're doing right now. Use the horn. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, use the horn on on the wheel when Hobbs comes out and goes in again. Use the horn again. Blah blah. blah. Use the model agency letter. I was about to do that as well. And he'll mistake them for models. I decided really? to give it another blast. To do with the seagull. What now? Okay. Afternoon, Mr. Hobbs. We're from the model agency. About blooming time. I'm on a deadline. You better come up. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. Okay. So he's gonna let us in, so we'll go in the door now. That apparently wasn't locked, so we could just walk in. And here we are. I've put my walkthrough away because I want to do this without. I really thought we had to go something to do about with time you two showed up. Hello, Mr. Hobbs. I was just wondering if. Uh, 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 can it, Goldilocks? I don't have time for chit chat. Just get undressed behind that screen. <laughs> undressed? That was the deal. An extra 20 quid because I need you with your kit off. The uh... studio was freezing. <laughs> and as for you, darling. No need to get undressed. I've got a vivid imagination, so I'll just use that. That's weird. Either way, just go sit over there on that rug and give me your best belly pock floozy. Okay. Mika's so into it. <laughs> That's perfect. Just hold it there. Nico made for a good distraction. I just needed to figure out how to get a look inside that portfolio. What portfolio? Oh. Just go in. Just, yeah, just grab it. Hi, what do you think you're doing? Oh, sorry. I, I was just going to take a look at some of your pictures. You're very good. I know, and that portfolio is private. Oh. I'm not paying you to go up around my studio. Get your blooming clothes off. Uh. Sorry. <laughs> Have a look around first. A variety of liquor bottles. 
all empty. Oh, heck. Hey, I'm still drinking that. Something to do with that. Hmm. Oh. I wasn't going to mess around with that wiring. And a stool. I didn't need to sit. It was time for action. Hey! Leave that dial alone. The heating gobbles up all the power and the circuits can't take it. Sorry. Oh no, you totally need to do I that. turned the thermostat down again. Wow, an old Boffson Wang stereo. I hadn't seen one of those for years. The record had stopped. It was Jasmine Breeze by the Hairy Lobsters. Mm hmm. Oh, heck. Hobbs seemed to have a thing for 70s psychedelic jams. Dude. Burroughs, Dick, Rand. Hmm. Hobbs liked his literature heavy and paranoid. It was a shaky old elevator that would once have lifted goods between the floors. I didn't want to play around with the negligee. Those days are long gone. But I wondered who it did belong to. Yeah. I think we need to do My, my. <laughs> if it isn't George Stobart. Lady Piermont. <laughs> Oh, my. <laughs> You're naked? <laughs> of course. As an artist's muse, one often finds oneself on the lotus. Now, George, don't be shy. Come here and give me a big hug. <laughs> that day was the day the nightmares had begun. Trapped, smothered, choking on lavender. Uh, George, darling, pass me my robe. It's terribly cold in here. <laughs> nicely done. Very nicely done. Oh. Oi! What are you doing with a blooming robot? God help me, but you're supposed to be naked. I've got a deadline to meet. Well, you won't be meeting any deadlines with manners like that. And besides, it's freezing in here. She can help me. She can... Lady Piermont and I had met before. She was larger than life, in every way. Lady Piermont. Oh, George, be a darling and sort the heating out in here. Mm. I'll see what I can do. Turn us down. Hey! I've told you, don't mess with that thermostat. Sorry, but Lady Piermont is cold. I thought... Look, pal, I know it's brass monkeys in here, but the wiring in this building is ancient, and the fuse box won't take it. Her Majesty will just have to get used to chapel hat pegs. <laughs> That's kind of sick. Lady Piermont, Mr. Hobbs won't let me turn up the heater. Well, we'll soon see about that. Oh, heck. Rogers. If you do not adjust the heating, I shall refuse to cooperate. Let it be not. It's the circuits. They won't take the strain. You know what all buildings are like. In which case, I see no reason for this session to continue. Whoa, Lady Piermont, let's not be too hasty. I'm sure I can accommodate your needs. Good. Perhaps you can start by letting George here turn up the heating. Oh. Oh, go ahead then, but be careful. The power in here is uh, temperamental. Okay. I turned the thermostat up as far as it would go. 
Oh heck. Oh gosh. It's run out I of wondered if a suspicious wire could be used to my advantage. Um hmm. Hey, that's my whiskey ration for the day gone. Box again. I wasn't going to mess around with that wiring. And. I'll talk to her again. A word, if I may, Lady Piermont. For you, George, I'm all ears. How can I help? So what have you been up to since our last encounter, Lady Piermont? Charity work, dear boy. Oh, any particular kind? Young men, George. So many have lost their way. I try to guide them best I can. Okay. Can you keep a secret, Lady Piermont? I am the very soul of discretion, as you know. Mm -hmm. You see that portfolio by Hans's table? Inside. Be still, my beating heart. Just give me the nod and I'm putty in your hands. Mm -hmm. Do you know anything about a stolen painting called La Maledixia? Oh, oh, is this another of your adventures, George? <laughs> How delicious. Shh. <laughs> my heart's a tremor, George. Do you think Wilf is mixed up with this? Maybe, but I need you to act normally until we're sure. Mum's the word, Georgie. <laughs> Georgie. How did you come to be working with Mr. Hobbs? Wheresoever a bohemian needs a helping hand, George, mine is always at the ready. And what better way to help than to expose one's flesh to the sensuous brushstrokes of such a talent? Mm hmm. She probably wouldn't care. We'll just make sure with these items. How about a shot of this, Lady Piermont? Oh, did we pinch that? No, oh, no, dear. I don't touch the stuff. I didn't realize Reminds me of husband number five. Or was it six? Terrible bore, anyway. I'm strictly a gin girl. Ice and a slice and a whiff of tonic. Mm -hmm. What do you think of this, Lady Piermont? Not much, Georgie. Not much. What do you think of this, Lady Piermont? Not much, Georgie. Not much. What do you think of this, Lady Piermont? Oh, gosh. Not much, Georgie. Not much. We do need to try everything, though, just What do you think of this, sure. Lady Piermont? Not, not much, much, Georgie. Georgie not, not much. Could I tempt you with a cookie, Lady Piermont? You could tempt me with many things, George. But a half-eaten rich tea is not one of them. And it's not a cookie. I was sure she didn't want to see it. What do you think of this, Lady Piermont? Not much, Georgie. Not much. What do you think of this, Lady Piermont? Not much, Georgie. Not much. One more item. Would you like a sniff of this? Whoop. I'd rather not. Gives me 70s flashbacks. Music's probably doing that too. Right. There's something to do with the whiskey. Glass. How about a top up, Mr. Hobbs? We can get him drunk. Hmm, not bad if I do. Mm hmm. Just carry that with me. Right. I've got the fuse box. Might need to look at the balcony door as well. I wasn't going to mess around with that wiring. No, we know. Oh, oh you! Gosh. Get down from there, it's private! <laughs> oh, sorry! So what's this style then? Is this the actual... Because I thought the balcony was double -card. I had no need to walk out onto the balcony. Oh, okay, that is a balcony. Well... Can you talk to Nika? So how are we going to get a peek inside that folder? Perhaps your lady friend over there could help. Lady Piermont? 
Well, she has many uh, assets, but subtlety isn't one of them. Who said anything about subtlety? We need to distract Hobbs. But she's certainly distracting. No, excuse me, but you're casting a shadow. <laughs> Hobbs had loosely sketched a young couple and an elderly lady sitting next to an overturned picnic basket. The three characters were naked. Behind them, two men in suits were chatting. Weird. Very weird. A word if I may, Lady Puma. For you, George! I'm all ears. How can I help? I really want to look at We're still that trying to figure out a way to distract Hobbs and take a look in that portfolio. Lady Piermont wasn't going to tell me anything useful. <laughs> it was clear that Lady Piermont knew nothing about my other things. I dare me to ask. Anything else you can tell me about Mr. Hobbs? My lips are bound by discretion, sweet boy. Huh, you're going to really have That's to distract her. Let's try and speak to Hobbs. Excuse me, Mr. Hobbs. Oh, what do you want? You're supposed to be sprawled naked on that rug with the family jewels out. Yeah, well, um, about that. Could I just ask you a couple of questions first? Oh, me. A model who's shy and chatty. It must be my birthday. Hmm. But I thought you were a restorer. But you're working on this painting from scratch. Well, yeah. Some clients uh, want a painting that they don't own, restored from scratch, mm, if it. you know what I mean. Uh, no, I don't. Don't worry, Shoshan. Ignorance is bliss. Yeah, about this naked sprawling... Oh, what's up? Afraid of the shrinking effect of a cold warehouse? Yes. No, it's just... First time. A little embarrassed. Well, if it helps, we could all get naked. Uh, no, definitely not. Well then, what are you waiting for? Let the monkey see the nuts. <laughs> we had a saying in the Stillbart family. If a job's worth doing, then do it with your pants on. Really? How long have you been using Lady Piermont as a model? Using her? I can't get rid of her. <laughs> So, what's in the folder that you're so touchy about? Little boys should keep their noses out of other people's business. Understand? Really? Totally. I have got my eye on you, pal. Oh my goodness, that's quite scary. Do you know a Russian called Madovsky? You know Madovsky? Everyone in the London art scene knows Madovsky. And everyone in the London art scene who likes their kneecaps knows when to keep their trap shut. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I didn't get to ask you about the last thing. Let's go back to Lady Piermont. Piermont. A word if I may, Lady Piermont. For you, George! I'm all ears. Can How can I help? Yes, all this time, please. We're still trying to figure out a way to distract Hobbs and take a look in that portfolio. I think you just need to... Oh, I don't know. That's all for now. Maybe we try and give him some more whiskey. He'll be forced to drink that whiskey. How about another whiskey? Thanks, but I've already got a glass full. Try and punch it. Hey, I'm still drinking that. Okay. Well, I'll try and ask him about that one last thing. And then I'm probably going to leave it there, Excuse guys, me, Mr. Hobbs. To the next episode. But I'm going to try my what hardest now? to get more done. Because then... I hear you did the restoration of that painting that got stolen recently in Paris. We'll be ready for episode my job. two. It's a fine piece. You can smell the pain in every brush stroke. How about a tap up, Mr. Hobbs? No. Thanks, but I've already got a glass full. Okay, so we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching and being patient with these, and I'll see you in the next episode.